G'day guys, Bing here, and today I'm going to talk about view titles. So if you create a project and go to a shade here, and if you, so for example, if you drag a floor plan onto your shade, you will see this is, this is your uh, view title. Okay, so um, so sometimes you want to, so of course this is a default view title uh, in this uh, architectural template. But if you don't like it, you can, you can adjust it, you can edit it. Okay, so you just need to go to, so in this project browser, go to families and then go open this uh, annotation symbol under here, view title, and you can right click. So if you, um, so this is a type. So currently there's only one type. So if you go, oops, sorry, edit type, you will see this is the only one. So this is the family name, view title, and this is the type name. Okay. So because there's only one, so we don't have any other options. So now. If you right click on this and edit, so this is the the family, so which you can edit it. Okay, so okay, so first let's have a look. So if you type VV, you can check or oh, not that one. Check this reference plans. So this will so give you idea where the base point of this family is. So if you move. You can move them around, but you still know this is the base. This this is where the line. So uh, the line so where this line start. Okay. So I'll go back to this. So for example, let's just uh, create a, a a new view title. Okay. So for example, I don't like this circle. I'll just delete it. And um, this is the label, so uh, so go edit label, and it will tell you what what which parameter this is this one linked to. So this is detail number. Okay, so I want to keep it, and you can have different size if you want to. So for example, I'll change this to four, and maybe I'll move it to here, maybe, and then for this. Um, uh, it's up to you, so you can have, you know, a box or rectangular, or um, let's just do something different. So you can just uh, create, you can use a field region if you want to. So, uh, so for example, I'll just draw something like this. Okay, so, and then maybe I'll just create a new uh, solid black. Oops, solid, solid black and then change this to solid black and okay so okay so because I know there will be a line here so I think that's that's okay um, maybe this one need to sit in the middle uh, okay and then view name so I think it's too big maybe I'm trying to make it smaller S scale even smaller uh, you can just duplicate so for example three millimeter okay so you can change you can make a make it bold or even change the width okay and um what else i think that's 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 pretty much it so you can adjust the location of this and so let's tr have a look. Okay, so I'll just save as a different name. So I'll just save it on my desktop. I'll just call it a new view title. And okay, so load this back. And you won't be able to directly s select that. Okay, so this is still a type of view type, but in uh, in this setting here, you can then select that new 
view title uh, family. So what I'm going to do is I'll just keep this one. So this is title with long, um, I'll rename it old, okay? And then I'll just create a new one. So I'll duplicate, I'll call it new, okay? And then, so we can just change this to the new view title. And um, all good, show extension long, yeah. And okay, so now you will see it becomes this. So where's my view? Oh, here. So let me draw something here. Uh, w A, oops, W A. Okay, so this is my new view title. Okay, and also you have the option to because sometimes, um, for example, we don't want to see scale. So, for example, at early stage, we uh, for schematic design stage, uh, instead of scale, we uh, we prefer some scale bar. So we don't want to see this scale. So you can do this. It's just go back to your, um, where is it, new view title, edit. So for this one, we can select this scale and go here, visible, can create a parameter. So let's call it, just call it scale, scale this, okay? And, and click on, uh, I think it should be type. Okay, so let's just use type and OK and OK. Load this back into the project over right. OK, so now go to select this. OK, select this edit type. So here, oh, hang on. Uh, no, 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 that's not right. We need to go to that family. So we need to go to the new view title and we need to so if you double click on this, so it will give you this parameter. Okay, you can check or uncheck. So we just need to create new type. So currently there's only one type for this fa uh, uh, view title family. So we need to, so for this one, for example, I'll rename it. So um, with scale, so for example, okay. And I'll just create duplicate, this one will be uh, without scale, uh, without, how do we write without, ah, anyway, let's just do this, so without scale, and then just check, uncheck this, and OK, so now I know that there are two types, one is with scale, one's without scale, and then go back to here, so select this view, edit type and you can just go uh, no title old title is not so new uh, it's a little bit confusing now <laughs> so let's have a look so let's just have a look of all of them so select this one and there will be so these four right so old is the old one title no line okay so this is the also a uh, old one of the old type okay so that's fine let's just go to no title yeah that's all good no title means no title and then only the new one so instead of new we, we need to create a new one so you can you can go here so you can go edit type new or just maybe rename it new with scale okay and then duplicate this one will be without scale new no scale okay and just go here and change this to the one without scale and okay so now this is a view title without scale so you can you can now just go here and you can just change it so with scale no scale and also um, sometimes you might think that this is very you know annoying every time you need to adjust this so for example if I drag another view sometimes it will become very long 
so for example, this one. So it will always um, from the very left to the very right of the view. So and even sometimes. So I'll show you if if I change this to um, one to twenty and become very big, right? And then I'll I'll, I'll remove this view from this uh, sheet and. Uh, Actually, you can do this, drag this view out and back into this. So it will always go to the full ex, uh, extent of this view. And then sometimes when you change the scale, I think, oh, oh, this is a wrong scale. And I want to change it, change it to 1 to 100. And then you will see this line is still that long. So you need to go select the view and go there and then drag it back. This is very you know, it's a waste of time, a, a lot, yeah, so that that you can, instead of have this line, you can just model this line in this view title, okay? So let's do it. So I'll just uh, edit this new view title, edit. So because you will not, this, you won't have a line here, this line is um, like, a, in the system, in the project, not in this family. So you, you can just create one line. So, okay, so a line here. So for example, start from here. And then for the length, because we want to, sometimes we want to, still want to adjust the length. So you can do this. So you can create a um, reference line. Oh, maybe, hang on, let me just try if uh, see if we can just do a dimension. So if we can do a dimension, we don't even need a reference line. So a dimension, and I'll see if I can create a parameter. So I'll call this um, length, uh, line, length, and type, okay? So okay, and I'll see if, it, if I can just change this. So for example, 50. Yes, we can. So what we can do is um, we can, so I think that's that's it. We can just have this parameter and then we can create types in the project. Okay, so you can do it here. You can do it here from, uh, not here, so this one. You can create new. So currently there's no Top, that's only one you can create here and uh, create different line length but you can also do it in the project okay so uh, let's load this into a project okay into the project so load into project overwrite and then um, looks like there's no difference for now so we just need to turn off the set the line setting so if you go edit type so here it is the line so this is the original um, extension line of the view view uh, title so let's just uncheck this one and apply so now you will see this line this is the line in the family so if i i'll see if i can dimension it so it should be 50, yeah, 50. So, um, and now if you, if you, so for example, if you drag, if you change this one to a new title uh, with, with no scale, and this will always be uh, 50 millimeter. So for example, if I drag some uh, other views, so, um, other view, oh, not this one, this one here. So this is the default default view title. It will be a full length of this view, but if we change them to the new no scale, it will automatically uh, change the line to 50 millimeter. Okay, so this will save you some time, uh, I think. But sometimes when you view, you probably need a multiple settings. So because this is 50, and if your uh, your view name is uh, a little bit long, so for example, um, existing and 
and demolition elevations. So, uh, for example, uh, east. So, and then you might you might need longer um, line. So, what you can do is go. You can go. Um, you can go to that family. So, um, where is it? So annotation here and new view title. So yeah, it's a little bit. So maybe next time when you name it, instead of new view title, it's it's better. I think it's better to name it view title new. So at least they will stay together. See? Yeah. Okay. So let's do this. Um, Okay, so uh, what we can do is we can so without scale, let's double click here. So this gives us fifty, right? So we can just re rename it. So maybe we can rename it without scale or no scale, fifty millimeter. So now we know that there's no scale and the length, the line is fifty millimeter. And we can also create duplicate create a new one so the new one will be 100 millimeter so for example and just need to change this to 100 oops 100 and okay so now we can select this edit type so this is still new no scale so maybe we'll rename it uh, add a 50 mil to the back and then we can duplicate add create a 100 millimeter one so for this one we just need to pick the 100 millimeter and uh, make sure this is unchecked oh good okay and then this is always 100 you can let's try ma match and you will see the line will all becomes become a 100 millimeter so let me just add some more so for example this so this 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 so and then you can just use MA match 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 and then it will become 100 millimeter. Okay, so I think this will save you a little bit time, so you don't need to adjust adjust the line. Um, that's it. Uh, if you have any question, please let me know. I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye.